You're looking at a painting that I did some copy work for Kessler Collections. Uh, I wanted to show the client what all I had done that day. Earlier I did a time lapse of, of uh, one painting that had quite a few uh, imperfections, mostly from uh, I, uh, transport packing it wrong, I would say, putting something up against the painting when they packed it, and then all the vibrations kind of put thousands of little itty bitty imperfections where it scraped off the paint. And I can kind of see some of that in a lot of the paintings, but not so bad in most of them, so that's good. But then, uh, what I'm going to show you here today is, is uh, I've taken extra measures to photograph these paintings with uh, mylar uh, polarized lenses over my lights and lens. And when you cross filter them, it zeroes out a lot of the reflections. But, as you can see, as I get closer, is what I like to do is go in at least 200%. And you start to see, you know, let's go in more like 300. You start to see where the paint has, oh, like, um, edge to it, you know, the, uh, these heavy oils have a lot of uh, thick paint on them, and where the thickness is, there can be reflections picked up from the lighting. Uh, turn off the sound there so we don't hear that again. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show some of what all goes on in each one of these, so... I'll be quiet now. The rest of it's going to be very boring. What's happening here is I've got the uh, oh, healing brush, spot healing, and I'm grabbing pixels with the with it right around um, the area that it, it it's selecting, so it's grabbing the same pixels within. So all the really bright areas are actually reflections off of the, uh, the paint. Some of it is uh, natural and looks, looks natural, so I leave it. And others are like showing a little too much usually. Uh, and it's not really seen if you're in in the room this way. So I want them to get the, the best uh, copy out of it so you don't have all of this distracting from the actual image. And it's not really there. It wasn't put there by the painter. It is there because of reflections. I'm going to have an eye for noticing it compared to what actually the painter did. And to a certain degree, you kind of see some of that. 
naturally just because of the room light. But when it gets too bright like that right there, you just don't want to be showing up. Photographed with a high res Sony camera and uh, a very sharp lens. They're 50 millimeter, 1.4, very, very, very sharp. And I'm at, what am I at right now? It is 373%. <laughs> So we're really in on this. I mean, you know, uh, if you look at it, it's just way in on it. And really, 200% is beyond 200%. People aren't going to be seeing much of what I'm actually seeing at 300 and something. Yeah, let's go. Three. All right, I'm trying to move this around so you actually see what I'm doing. I'm seeing the whole screen, you're not. So, um, yeah, that's about what's going on here. I'm going to pause it and put it in time lapse, then you see the rest of how much, even just a simple painting, uh, takes to get correct. Okay, that concludes this one. As you can see, there was uh, still quite a few spots to clear up uh, highlights from edging of the paint. So, um, yeah, my total time was probably about 45 minutes. All right. Very good.